back on the Golden for the first time this year. So there's nothing more to do than just get straight into it, I reckon. All right, let's, let's do this. Well, this looks really nice. The river's quite low, which looks nice. And essentially, I've just rigged up two rods for this little session. I've got my 10 foot two weight Cortland nymph rod that I'll be nymphing with. And then I've got a nine foot three weight Sage X here with a Cortland silk line that I'm gonna be nymph under drying with. And I'm just gonna jump up into this fast water, I think, just because I'm gonna do a quick session for you guys here with the camera on. And fishing fast water, I can fish it faster to try and find them. If I don't find them up there, I know they're probably gonna be in this softer stuff here, so I can drop back and fish that after. I really like this river when it's down like this because what you find is when you have these runs here, the weed becomes quite obvious. So you can actually catch them around the weed mats because you can see the gaps in the weed. When the river's high, it's very hard to fish in those pockets. So the weed in this river is effectively the equivalent of just a boulder in another river. It creates a nice pocket, a soft spot, and they're quite easy to target in that water there. Well, here we go back on the golden no idea what I'm gonna catch want to push past this shallow stuff get into these deeper pockets up here there's my first one you're always going to find these smaller fish sitting in these shallow ripples so you can kind of fish them a little bit more, more aggressively like I did there nice rainbow he smashed that caddis that's so far down. There we go. Yeah, so you can, I'm just burning through this stuff here because these fish in this shallow stuff might be more happy to race over and grab it like that one did. Lost him. I probably should be nymph under dry in this stuff, but I might just skip it. I can always come back to that stuff that I reckon that'll hold up pretty well if I wade through it. You can see how you can get bogged down in this slow stuff here, not covering much water. That's why I'm going to try and keep telling myself just to push through it. And if I don't catch them up here, I'll come down and catch those tougher fish later. See, there's another small one up high so I may as well just push through this stuff because you know once I get to that run up here there should be some more fish there and because the current's faster I get more drifts in there he says as he casts straight back into a bit of slack water Here we go. Hmm. Another nice rainbow. That one's eating an orange tag instead of a caddis. People often say, oh, I don't want to catch these small ones, I want to catch the big ones. And so do I, but you're kind of going to find 
you've got to sift through <laughs> some of these small ones because often they're more aggressive happy to move up in the water column to eat so you've got to catch all of them before you can catch the better ones oh i missed another small one there like this is nice fish water here where these two currents meet another one there but very happy catching lots of them because it's just nice to be out and about they're just kind of on this ledge those two have been well three because i missed the one before oh missed another one there Geez, missed him as well. Another smaller fish. It's got to be a brown in one of these pockets soon. It's, uh, you'll notice I'm fishing very short. It's been raining. It's very hard to, to fish long in the rain just because your line and rod and everything gets quite sticky. And in this current, you don't need to fish that long. Bit of weed there. Might come back to this a little bit later with some heavier beads. Just because I don't think I'm getting down. There's quite a bit of upwelling there. Might try and kick a fish out of these pockets up here. You can see the grass. Or you may not be able to in this light. But there are little shelves and depressions all through this that are very hard for us to see. But there are fish in there. just in the corner of that, like in between those two bits of grass there, in the mats. I think he's quite a chunky rainbow. He's fighting like one. I always say take your time with these fish too. A lot of people rush them, but what you're going to do if you try and rush them or try and quote unquote skull drag them in, what you might find is you actually pull the hooks on them. So they can sometimes have really soft mouths. And they've got a lot of fight in them. Nice fish. Got him. Oh, it's nice when they're eating both of your flies. <clears throat> he was up in some of this. He was on that drift there in between these two bits of weed there. So it shows you they can be in quite glidey fast water sometimes. I'm looking forward to getting up to those pockets up in the top corner there. They're a little bit slower, so I wonder if they might hold me a better fish. Should get eaten. Oh, I did. Another small one. And the hook's falling out. Still looking for that one nice one. That one nice brown has to be in here somewhere. 
we'll find him eventually. Or not. <laughs> I do wonder if this dirty water has put the, some of the better fish off, maybe. Or not. There's the brown. Swim him upstream or get below him somehow. Hello, lovely fish. All tangled up in the line there. Oh, wow. That fish ate really well. I completely missed him. And again. That wind doesn't make life easy. I could change flies and catch him probably, but I think I might just push through because I don't want to make this video too long for you guys. Lead take. That's probably a nice one to finish off. Going on the back side into that pocket. Well, I think I'll unscrew this. I think that's probably me done. Um, didn't hit the big fish like we wanted or expected, but you can see we fished through this in, we probably only fished for about 35, 40 minutes. I'll try not to edit this at all if I can. Um, and lovely, lots of small fish. Maybe the bigger fish are down in that flood of water nymph under dry where I'll go now and fish. But look, hopefully that was helpful. Again, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I did this just to see and confirm if what I thought was right and yeah there are more fish down in this deeper stuff that I fished earlier but um, I wasn't heavy enough when I fished through because I was mainly targeting this stuff so came back here and I put on 3.5mm bead and caught a fish straight away.